Hello friends, I hope you're doing well. If you are already familiar with Ethical Crack and have watched the series so far, you can jump to this time here to skip this intro. And to all the wonderful new subscribers who are here from my Valamore Chunk series, uh, this little bit's for you, I'm going to talk about this account, and of course give you a quick update on how the Valamore Chunk account's doing. All those people who skipped the intro, gonna miss out on that. The chunk is progressing really well, we're up to 10 crafting out of our big 20 goal, and we're up to 54 fletching out of our 65 goal. But this account, this account is an ultimate Iron Man, where I don't use storage outside of my inventory. That means I don't use a looting bag, I don't use any death storage or death piling, I don't even table items, but I do allow dropping items on the ground. I don't use player own house storage, and I don't use some other random stuff like tall leprechauns. Not because that's particularly important for the account, but I just find it funny not using tall leprechauns. If you want to check out what we've done fully on the account so far, you can of course watch the playlist, which has a link here and at the end, but here's a brief synopsis of what we've done so far. It's actually a really good point just to jump in on this series at, because we've just finished a big goal and are about to embark on a new journey with it. At the start of this account, I went to 86 runecrafting straight away to get the big runecrafting diary steps done, specifically the big double mat step for the Karamja diary, because those are really difficult on inventory space. We also did all the other things that have big inventory space restrictions, like going to Entrana, doing all the quests with gross things, doing trouble brewing because you can't bring items in there for some reason. And then we started on our quest cape journey, and that's what we've just finished. We, in the last video, achieved the quest cape, with the final quest being Desert Treasure 2. Of course there's more quests out now and my quest cape no longer functions, but we'll get to that shortly. Our goal in this video has three parts. The first part, and the most important part, is I want to get my rune pouch upgrade from the Tombs of a Mascot back. I did have this before for my Guardians of the Rift grind, but I deleted it when I couldn't take it into, I think it was the Castle Wars lobby. No, it was Barbarian Assault. I couldn't bring it into Barbarian Assault. So our first objective is to get that back. The second objective is to finish off 77 prayer, so that when I join in on our chambers, if I get Augury, I'll be able to use it. And the third goal in this video is to achieve a first of something on this account, which you'll just have to see from the clips. Well hi, you find me at Warped Creatures going for a Warp Scepter again. We had to get rid of it to finish off Desert Treasure 2 last episode, but that's all good, we'll get it back. I want to have a weapon for all three styles, fairly easily accessible, and fairly strong hopefully. Been invited to go hit up some TOA, so we're gonna go do that. Try and get that room pouch upgrade. Our setup is looking significantly better this time than last time we were doing raids. Uh, going to a cool pyramid. Definitely think it would be worth getting the Keras for this boss. Zombie axe ain't hidden. Well, yeah, I'm gonna go get a Keras so that I can actually hit that. Okay, same, but this time with Keras so we don't get maged. And this time on the mage, we can actually do damn. Big nine. And bring it in the water. Let's go pick up it. Oh, nice. All right, let's go ruby bolts. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that. And the croc boss goes down, maybe? Yeah. Oh, my God, a 49 with the zombie axe. Hell yes. Oh, bronze pickaxe time. Yay for not storing shit here. Uh, don't look. Alright, we are out of potatoes. There is no potatoes left in the inventory. Alright, here we go. We go one zombie axe into a DDS. That was a 49 axe. That's sick. Oh my god, the damage. Yeah! Yes! This core is going to be interesting. How much do we do? Yeah! Get in! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, show me a room pouch upgrade, please. That would be wonderful.
Wow, well, that's pretty expensive loot. Um, nice. Goodbye, quest cape. You were nice, but we really don't need you anymore. It's a good start. Oh, nice! <laughs> I didn't want to eat. Ah, we got it. We got it back. I can do real magic damage. We killed 361 warped tortoises. Casket. Can run out of the wilderness faster with purple sweets. In the middle of a herb run, just using up some snap seeds that I managed to pick up from the TOA. And every time I come to this teleport to use a fairy ring, we kill a ghoul because maybe one day we get a champion scroll. And 72 hunter from a birdhouse. AFKing away all the gold ore we got from TOA before, and we got 74 smithing from that. For our TOA setup and a whole lot of other stuff, we're gonna need cash. So we're gonna hit up our fairly new moneymaker of the corrupted gauntlet just to make that moolah. Oh, that was some crazy elks, but also an elite clue. I we can do that. Nice. Wait, black salamanders are wealthy. I've just I've changed my mind, no thanks. Oh, a hundred law runes. They were badly needed. I was down to twelve. Hell yes. Sorry to interrupt the clips. This video is not sponsored, but there is something I would very much like to share with you guys. Uh, I play guitar in a band. Our band's called At Least One Human, and we just released a new single. It's called Boom Bap, after the sound the bass makes, because it goes boom and then it goes bap. <laughs> and we, we honestly just never came up with a title we liked better than that, so hey, that's stuck. It's super good vibes, acoustic and electric rock, but with some darker nihilistic lyrics. If you would give us a listen or add us to a playlist or something, I would be incredibly grateful. Thank you very much, and for everyone who's just here for RuneScape stuff, back to the video. No, my first death. Proof this is my first death. There we go, one dash death in CG. Wait, no, that's Gauntlet down here. <laughs> Surprise pest control clips. Oh, that could have been my final hit. Nice. That puts us over 500 pest points. Let's go hand those in. 100 points on prayer. 100 points on prayer. Look at those XP drops. Those are beautiful. And there it is. 77 prayer, meaning we can now use augury. That is the prayer level for everything in the prayer book. I just now need to get it from raids, which is not something we're probably going to do this video, though we might roll. Ah, oh, the classic CG experience. Time is ticking down. There's just no fish anywhere. <laughs> There's not a single fish on the whole map. <laughs> Come on. It's just... It's doomed. There's no way. <laughs> I don't have enough time and there's no fish. Ah, oh, it's, it's all over. Uh, here they are, and we're out of time. Let's just hop well. There we go. That'll kick me out. It would be very apt if this was crying was about fish. The crying is about arrows. <laughs> Didn't manage to get a plate body on this one, but we were cutting it real close on time. Nice. All right, we just did a full kill of five to one because we were lacking the shards to make the other upgraded weapon. We're going to go up to 25 KC, I think half the drop rate of an armor seed, and just to be making our money, and then we're going to move our focus completely to TOA. Oh my god! Wow, our final kill was so clutch. If you can hear a hum in the background, uh, it is very, very raining right now. It's insane. All right, that should be plenty of money for us for setup. Let's go figure out how we're gonna gear exactly for TOA. Okay, we've got 2,000 charges for that. Okay, that boss was so much more chill this time round. Holy, that's, it's so much faster. Oh, we get to go into this boss with a range pot now. Delicious. Good luck. Well, mega scuffed, but Warden's was good. Show me a thread. Come on, show me a thread. Mm, 
Oh, but I'm not going to be able to piety after this goes off. Fuck, rip piety. Ah! <laughs> ah! No, no, not again, not again. Oh my god. No, I'm stuck. What? Did you see that? Good luck. Give me thread, please. No. Ooh. I'm stabbing myself in the face every single time I shoot this warp scepter. This seems dangerous. One in three for an elite casket. Show me the money. Damn. Yes. All right, 50-50 for casket. Yeah. All right, roll of them dice. What do we got? <gasps> nothing. Oh, wait, hold on. Not nothing. If we use the skills necklace on here, it's a diary task. It is a diary task. All right, we're going to see what invocation level we can zoom through in a solo without it ever being a problem. We're going to start at 60 and slowly turn things on, seeing as I don't have melee pots. And I don't want to be teleporting out to get extra supplies and such. I just want to be able to zoom these back to back. Let's see how it goes. All right, first one down. We used like three food and two prayer doses. Pretty happy with that. But I think I'm going to up it just a tiny bit. Oh, good elks and snap seeds are things we're going to use. Editing crack. Yeah, I figured I'd voice over this one because the audio is just one massive sigh. Yeah, I try to drag my dragon mid helms to be closer to my elk, but... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Praying mage? Oof. Wow, this boss took forever. I don't think the invocation upgrade was worth it. Gold ore, we're going to be using all of that for smithing and crafting, and what runes do we want? Blood runes for GP? Eh, it's not bad. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Let's just voice over that clip. Uh, the audio in this one was, was not a happy crack. Oop, snaps again. Oh, there it was. Hi. <laughs> oh, more rubies for ruby bolts. Awesome. We mined in Falador and we carted all the Eddie ore over to Blast Furnace to make us 550 more bolts for rubies. Now we just gotta fletch them and chant them up and we can get back to TOA. <laughs> I'm coming to buy my dragon dagger and I can see the ladder because I've got the ring of shadows on. That's cool. Ugh. Oh, 90. Hey, we got diamonds. Oh no, you got the thread. <laughs> nice, we pushed our solo invo up to 150 and we got it done. It was rough though, we died multiple times, so unique chance isn't great. But it feels good to be doing 150s. Alright, let's check what's in the chest. Show me thread. Please. No. Alright, new plan for the 150s till I get upgrades. We're not gonna salt monkey room. Then we're gonna suicide to Bubba to get a stat reset. And then salt for Bubba. Let's see if that can save us a bit of pain. Suicide to Bubba. Drop a current one in case we get honey locusts. Let's see if this is going to be worth it or not. We do get honey locusts and we keep the current one. And now we can salt. Get a ruby bolt ready to begin with. And we're going to have a way better bubba. After bubba boulders, rather than meleeing the boss to get back into phase one, we just crossbow the boss for a little bit to get some extra DPS in. And uh, on this one, we certainly got some extra DPS in. All right, I'm looking forward to seeing what our unique potential is at the end, because that makes it equivalently easy to doing the 110s. Ooh. Nice. Holy shit, that's amazing. Okay, double cache of rune opening. 1,200 soul runes. 1,500 soul runes. Alright, we're going to try speedrun some 50s because I don't feel like trying much at the moment and we need to get 50kc for the root pouch, basically. Well, not 50kc, it's a 1 in 50. 
The ideal for these runs would be if they don't need to use food so I can just run straight back in once I finish this one. That would be really nice. Well, it's notably faster. It's almost 10 minutes faster. I don't need supplies. Purple chance is still abysmal. Might as well not have purple chance. It's kind of boring, but it's definitely going to be more efficient for getting the thread. Ah, oh, I'm doing RTO on my main so I didn't see it, but then in the clan chat I saw that <laughs> uh, we got a slay level, that's 71. Yeah, go us. Should have done this a while ago, but we're just gonna AFK some off-task dust devils, smacking a couple and auto-retaliating so we can build up some dust runes to combine the air and earth runes we had into one slot and get an extra current one for when we're doing things. I wanted an upgrade for TOA, so there's 96 strength. Got a bunch of clues from our sand crabs. Wait, black pickaxe was a clog? Cool. Hey, we actually got something useful, the page. We like the page. Um, okay, uh, I was watching a stream and not paying attention. It just ran over me. Oh, asked. Oh no. Oh, trouble. Uh, all right. Let's see if we get a max hit on this. I don't remember what my max hit was. Was it 36 or 37? <laughs> um, that one didn't get a max hit. That I know. 88 range. Go us. I've had a lot of mixing to do, so while I did that, I left Ethical Crack at Sand Crabs for another big number. That's two max hits. Oh, I got freaked out about the max hits and I didn't click my axe. Th that strength level was good, it turns out. Oh, max hit on the axe too. We've gone from 50 to 51. I don't really know how impactful these are, but it feels good. Wow, that's valuable loot. Nice. I guess I'll update you on my KC. We're at 29 entry modes and 13 normals. Putting us at 42 total and drop rate for your second thread is about 60. So we're 18 raids off being on drop rate for it. Sort of. <laughs> Damn it, that was not the one we wanted. Uh, we were here for the... Oh, there's a full key. Okay, that's worth getting rid of a car and one. We were here for the shield half. That's why I've got my ring of wealth on. But instead we got the dragon spare. Are they the same rate? Let me look it up. Oh, it's even more rare than the shield left half. Oh, another cloggers. Armadal robe top. It's on the floor. It can stay there. Doing some chilling on a slayer task because I felt like it. And we get 80 crafting, which means we can make glories without boosting. Which is sick. Oh, and DT2 rings apparently. Well, here we are where it all began on Ethical Crack, at the Lumbridge spawn. For 99 strength. The very first 99 on this account. That's awesome, let's go pick up the cape. Hello friend. Can I get one of those things you're wearing? Oh, our very first skill cape. We managed the quest cape, and now we've got our first 99. The untrimmed strength cape, which looks super cool. Let's give it an emote. Damn gains! Oh, look at that technique. Another week, some more delicious tears. Unfortunately, they're going back in embarrassing skills. <laughs> There's 12,000 cooking XP. Back into the TOAs with 99 strength. Is it gonna give me luck? Damn right, it's gonna give me luck. Luck pending. Ah! <laughs> there it is. Yes! Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's actually so cool. And you, on there, saving us an inventory slot and having our perfect rune pouch with the elks and the house tallies in it. We love that. I smelted all the gold ore I got from TOA with my good old goldsmith gauntlets and then turned all these friends into tiaras for 50,000 smithing and about 30,000 crafting XP. I dropped the diamond bolts but there are so many ruby bolts that I just couldn't get rid of them so we're going to be holding on to those in our ammo slot 
And then we only have one more thing to get rid of, which is turning our seeds into potions. Sneaky farming level from all our snapdragons. Oh, wow. I did not know spacebar would trigger that. Sorry. Um, let's do that again. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm going to leave that in. That was kind of funny. We've finished farming our seeds. We still have a snapdragon planted in every single patch, but I cannot leave a farming patch empty. It just hurts my soul doing that. So we're going to leave them in there and we're going to use these 180 wonderful green friends to turn into potions. There they go, all decanted down into one stack. And with the final supplies from TOA and all our other goals this episode used up, we will be calling it for the video there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And if you had, oh, consider subscribing. Or if you're already subscribed, like the video. Or I don't know, maybe both. And a reminder to check out the new song that my band released. Next on the channel, we'll be back to the Chunk account. At the time of this video, I want to do 11 more days of progress on the Chunk account so I can say that I've been in our second chunk for a month when I upload it, because that'll be cool. So I will see you then. Have a wonderful time. Ciao.